Jim Caffrey, Rochester, well, right. Webster now. How long have you owned it? Well, it's owned to me since 2016. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it sitting by the side of the road in bad shape. Yeah. I stopped and kept telling myself, don't, don't <laughs> buy it, don't buy it. And then the guy kept lowering the price. And finally, I thought, well, there's not that many of them around anymore. It should be safe. Yeah. So, I don't soup anything up. It's It's got to be all original. All original. And it was pretty beat up when you saw it? I've got some pictures that all apart. Oh. I don't know if that's anything you want to see. It's They're not pretty. You said it came from Pennsylvania? Yeah, and a fellow in Fishers bought it and then decided he didn't want to work on it. Jeez. It had a, I found somebody, a really nice guy, to do uh, body work. He did a phenomenal job, too. What year is it? This is a 58. 50, okay. They made them from uh, 1954 to 1962. This was America's first subcompact car. And it was until Volkswagen came in and wiped them out. Man, the interior is beautiful too. They can open the hood if you want. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, that would that would be nice. Well, promise you won't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I'm definitely wouldn't. I'll let you know. I'm Jim with uh, Paul. So this is uh, Nash. When they decided to come out with a second car after the war, people started moving out to the suburbs, and Nash thought they were going to need a, a second car that was very economical. And gotcha. so they they did a test. Uh, they built a, a one model that had no engine, but they brought it around to different markets, and people said they were interested. Man! But then they decided Nash, they didn't, they didn't make a four-cylinder engine themselves. They had a big six engine for their big car, but so they made a deal with Austin and England to provide the engines. So the whole drive line in this is uh, Austin's an Austin Seven. It's all 55 horsepower, 1500 cc. Oh man! But it goes. Oh, I believe it. It's the same engine that would have gone into an MG. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. And this is well, a little bit bigger than the MG, though, right? No, it's about the same. About the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The first two years they had an engine that was 1200 cc. Okay. Okay. But they decided to beef it up. This would have been the full size Nash. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So this is just a miniature. This this would have fit in the trunk of that. Gotcha. These were huge. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Man, how, how uh... Nash became uh, American Motors. They merged with Hudson. Merged and then they changed the name to American Motors. So Rambler. A lot of people remember Rambler. They they don't necessarily remember Nash. Yeah. They got started before World War One. Nash. So Man. They were around a long time. 